that sends a different signal to your body. And that signal is really important. That signal says, hey, body, if you can't make enough energy to sustain this, you're insufficient. Therefore, you need to get out of the way. There are two kinds of movement that have a lot of evidence behind them. One body of research says if you walk for 20 minutes a day, that's enough to cause your mitochondria to clean themselves. Basically, you'll grow new mitochondria. You'll, your power plant will stay fresh. The other body of evidence says that if once or maybe twice a week, but not more than that, you do something really, really intense for about 10 or 15 minutes, things like sprinting, resting, sprinting, resting, or lifting really heavy things, that that sends a different signal to your body. And that signal is really important. That signal says, hey, body, if you can't make enough energy to sustain this, you're insufficient. Therefore, you need to get out of the way. So the parts of your cells that can't take food and air and make energy, they'll die and they'll be replaced by young, strong things. So this is a battery refresh cycle. Whereas when you go for a walk every day, that's just a battery maintenance cycle. If you do this on a regular basis, it doesn't take very much time. You can be on the phone, you can be talking with someone, you can be getting a tan when you go for a walk, but 20 minutes isn't that big of a deal. And it's a lot different than oh, I'm gonna do what I used to do, an hour and a half a day in the gym, six days a week, and a desperate bid to lose weight that never worked even after a year and a half of that. So what if you could save time and you could just use exercise and movement as a signal to your body that says, hey, stay strong. If you enjoyed this clip, please subscribe to our channel. And for more great content, check out the next video. If you're ready for a real health transformation, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.